you might want to have a heat this year in the elimination round when waves are as good as this. Connor O'Leary and Callum Robson start an all-Australian battle here at the halfway mark of heat number one. Oh, the light's still on for Aiden. And now deep up the point, we've got Callum trying to squeeze something in, just a repositioning wave for Robson and the non-priority heat with Connor O'Leary. You know, velocity and timing, um, that's when those pizzas are huge. You get a nice big 18-incher, you know, throwing it. <laughs> that's, uh, that's awesome. Checking this one out again, Callum trying to get something on the board against O'Leary. Well, he's creating some space now. Tracking off the bottom, connection off the lip line there, and he'll step off. Solid wave down the line. As we check out this, once he got out in front. Well, we saw the surface just too deep. And these waves do, they, they run so fast. You know, there's a certain size at J-Bay where it just runs the reef and it just is, uh, that, you know, you want to be able to do these kind of simplified snap turns that throw lots of water, but still keep that momentum down the line. You can see that that was what Callum was trying to do there. Setting this one up is Connor O'Leary from Cronulla. Time you think of a goofy foot from Cronulla, you can't get past the great Mark Ocalupo, one of his heroes. Connor just keeping his guessing for his first turn of the matchup. Local community that keeps him on the road, trying to fulfill his dream. So cool, it really is. You know, and it's tough. You know, South Africa, you know, the, the money exchange is very difficult, being it's like 20 to 1 as far as the Rand is concerned. As we look at a nice backside connection from Connor O'Leary, and just trimming down the line. Second move, money turn from O'Leary. Nice patience again, he'll snap it off the lip. Now finding some serious speed and flow, heading towards impossibles. Blasting it again, airdrop, steps off. Well done to Connor. He'll have the high score in the matchup with Cal Callum Robson. Considering himself a, a top 10 surfer, you know, and he is right there with it. The incredible backhand. This wave, a bit challenging to ride, really. He had to chase it a lot in the backhand. Again, staying high up on the wall, finding a place where there's some space to be able to get the maneuvers done. It is definitely going to be one of the better numbers of this second heat, but uh, not something, you know, those those mid-sized set waves for the backhanders, always difficult to be able to do combination of major moves, right? You chase it, chase it, chase it, get that single maneuver done, and then again, you're going to be getting scraps, but you can go out there and you can get some numbers and put some pressure on your competitor. But look at the pace of this wave. This was much easier. A stark contrast to his very first wave, but you ended up getting a 6.5, which is great. Feels like this one's going to be much higher. And now he's going to put some pressure on to Callum, who really hasn't put a number up yet. But look at just nice and paced. He even had a cutback involved there. And then this is where the wave steepens up. Uh, he identified that. Uh, as a set wave, when you see that nice tapered line at J-Bay on your backhand, you're loving things. And uh, wow, just straight up and then the good solid finish. Oh. That's why the... Kelly Slater, that last wave we were pretty excited about. 5.17. Oh, judges, not so happy about it as much. I mean, hey, Jock got the actually better of the exchange. I was wrong. He did with the 6.0. Full wrap to kick things off for Caltex. Nice solid hook. For Robson. Great patience as that one stretched out. Attacking it off the lip again. Now the Australian redirects. Bottom drops out, thinking about a final turn. Big oh. air chopping. Oh, a wild wipe out there. Oh. Looked like he landed right on his equipment. That 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 looked nasty. Let's take a look here. Again, these waves a little softer on the outside section. You know, you can see a little flatter on the face. Judges want to see those major maneuvers happening when the wave steepens up. Now it starts to steepen up for Callum. Carries a ton of speed. And right here, he wants to just lay into this maneuver. Callum's so powerful, really. Just one of those surfers that you love watching use his rail. Also, just absolutely brave. You saw how he's got the first 10 of the season, but that maneuver there. He got away from the board, thank goodness. But yeah, talk about that end section. You know, it's very difficult. Transition just goes box-like. The bottom is flat, it's in the wall straight up 90 degrees, trying to get it to transition, land in the transition there. It's just difficult. Ooh, the nose of the board right in the ribs, maybe. Uh, the design of choice for our surfers here, that single concave being able to just bite and lock into the face for these big carving turns. But uh, Callum with a little bit of work to do, but the boards are looking good. Good man, Richie. And we're seeing it right into action. Big blast there from O'Leary. 
crushing sections today. Throws one into the lip again. Swinging back into the pocket. Arcing turn on the third effort. Under the lip there on that backhand float. Right into a wrapping turn. He is in sync this morning. Driving hard into another big section as it hollows out. What a great moment in his career. Let's take another look. Okay, again, uh, you know, how important is this outside maneuver? Very important, especially when it's steep like that. And he just gets that tail up and over the lip, no worries. And then the pace slows up beautifully for him, and he's able to go top to bottom. Ben, backhand, this is where the advantage, if you have this kind of a wave at J-Bay, this is where it's going to give you the ability to just lay in every move. And that's what he did, 9.57. This is a huge number. Again, the finish, though so strong in the beginning, was able to keep that speed and power, and then it's just a very strong finish. That turn there kept him moving down the line. That's the maneuvers you have to have in line, be able to get down the line at J-Bay. He identified that, was able to get it done as the wave steepens up for this final move, and that's where the money is. Up and over, tail release, started off with that style of maneuver, finishes with that style of maneuver. That's why it goes 9.57. Very consistent throughout the first part of the season until he lost to Xavier Huxtable at Bells and he hasn't been able to win heat since then. A couple injuries to talk about there as well as we see a nice view of this big open face hook. Driving through the wrap again, Callum Robson still fighting even though he's got a severe combo against him. Big carve and tail release, doesn't need to hold anything back and he'll get tangled up on the finish. Um, but at this case, I feel like it's gonna come below again. So Kelly and Jack still have some time, but we just finished off a super heat for Connor O'Leary. 957, his best ever number in his career on the championship tour as he eliminates Callum Robson.